I feel great. Uh, some of them I only just found out about recently, um, so it's nice that they are, uh, you know, they're they're big like establishments that are recognising new music, and so it's nice to be in their list. You know, it's real. It's a it's a nice honour to be to be part of that. Yeah. Obviously incredible. It would, uh, you know, he's kind of dominating the world at the moment, and. Um, it's, it's really, really something to look up to. It's amazing to see how it's going for him. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm working to do all the same and, and hopefully more. It's kind of insane because I'm a massive fan of Pharrell and have been for years. So um, it's pretty amazing, you know, to have achieved such a success. Uh, last year was crazy. I started the year in like Los Angeles writing the record. Yeah, got married, put a record out. Um, I don't know. This year is uh, just going to be touring, so I feel like it'll be maybe a bit calmer than last year. But um, but really satisfying because this is kind of why I do it to be able to tour. Really exciting and amazing. Um, I guess the song, rather well, the beat, the single, we kind of had like we did have We're over a, it. <laughs> a hope, but like the best um, UK group was a massive shock. I had no idea. <laughs> For British dance music right now, we're kind of riding high. I mean, I'm off to the, the Grammys in a couple of weeks to be nominated for Best Dance Single. And out of five people, four, there's four British acts. And that's the, you know, the whole world, and that's in the light America's backyard. So it's a really good time for British dance music. And I think in years to come, it'll, it'll be looked, you know, looked upon as a kind of um, a golden age of dance music in the UK.